If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable, and make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some run defense that you can use from the 245 odd. It's very simple and it's very glitchy. You're gonna see some pros running this defense because not a lot of people know about its ability, but I'm gonna share it with you guys today. Now, the full scheme to the 245 odd is coming to the member section. So whatever you see here, add it to what I show you in the member section, which is gonna be the full breakdown for all the defenses or the pretty much the meta defenses of the formation, I'm gonna put that in the member section. However, today I'm gonna to show you guys just how to stop the run. It's glitchy. This is ideally for inside zones and in and, and those plays, not anything under center. You don't wanna be running the two, four, five odd if they're running single back, deuce close or wing, you know what I mean? Anything with like a two wide receiver to one wide receiver set, you don't wanna run this defense. It's three wide receivers or more. And when they blend in the inside zone, because people do that and they will try to take advantage of the two, four, five odd by running the ball up the middle of the field. So I'm gonna show you guys how to slow it down tremendously. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on. Now, most important thing is going to be your personnel. So your two, four, five odd, you wanna make sure that your fast people are on the field. So right here on my left side, I have Harrison. But I'm going to go ahead and put Stevens because he's faster. He's faster speed. I can leave Queen where he's at because Queen's an 89 speed. And on the outside over here, I'm going to take Bowser out and I'm going to put Owe because he's faster. Now down on the line, I'm going to leave Campbell where he's at because it's key. We have Williams and we have Houston. So we have everybody that we want in our personnel. On this side, it doesn't matter what you do with your secondary. Probably run speed. The two, four, five odd. Now the first one I'm gonna show you guys is going to be the pinch too because it's the simplest to run. Actually, it's not the simplest to run. I'll show you the better one here in a little bit. So people are coming out in pinch two and that's going to be the defense that they use. Now from like, uh, let's just say, Trey Y flex inside zone, what you wanna do is you wanna always use her the opposite side of the running back. So Jones is on the right side. You want Your user wants to be here. You wanna put yourself on a blitz. So A or X, right stick down for blitz. And with this setup right here, you should get, there's there's gonna be someone coming for the block on you, but what you wanna do is you wanna try to beat them to the gap. So straight down and then hit the running back. I missed them, but Jones is fast and he's got the jukes and this is the AI we're talking about. They're gonna instantly juke you. So you wanna come back maybe about four or five yards and then you're just gonna jet inside if you see the inside zone and you get a free release. But remember, I'm using Steven, so he's not a hard hitter, which means I'm gonna bounce off, but I'll be able to slow the running back down. Now, this is just a stock setup where you could actually use the run stopping defense stock. It becomes harder. Okay, so let's say I shoot the gap. If I take the blitzer off the other angle or if I move him in, not that it becomes harder, but I'm saying it's a little bit more adjustments, but you're, you're not, you don't have a lot of coverage on the field. So I could bring him in like the way everybody else does it. They'll bring him in and still shoot the gap. And you're gonna notice something different now. Campbell is always going to get a release off the edge of the line if we bring this guy in. Not all the time, but I want to say 80, 90% of the time he's going to get it. You're going to see it again. You see how he's coming off the line? So what does this mean for us? Well, now we don't have to blitz with our user. Okay, so right here, if it's a trips formation, you bring this guy in, put ourselves on a blitz. Now we can actually fake it and come out because Campbell is going to be there now. So you guys are seeing the glitchy side of what's going on already. As long as you bring this guy in against the inside zone, you, and it's gotta be opposite. Remember, everything I'm showing you has to be opposite. Now we get this release. Fake it. Campbell gets an automatic glitch release to the running back. You guys see what I'm saying? Now, if we bring this guy in and put him on a vertical hook and then put herself on a blitz, I think you kind of crumble the whole thing, but let's just see. Nope, he still gets a free release to the running back. So now what does this tell us? Okay, now we can actually play coverage because right here, the seam routes are gonna be open. So as long as we bring him here and put him on a vertical hook, it's not gonna, oh, there it is. Put ourselves on a blitz and stand about right here, he should still get that free release. Boom, he still gets that free release. You can even click on if you want to stop the inside zone. So you guys are seeing the glitchy side right now. Okay, so that's that play. Now let me show you the next one. There's another one. And then I'll take you through the inside zones from like a compressed formation. The next one, and I see a pro player run this. This is what, this is what caught my eyes when I saw him run this in the tournament. I was like, bro, how the hell is he doing it? But then I figured it out. It's simple. It doesn't really require a lot. We're going to use the Sam Mike one. We're going to flip the play. Okay, so flip the play. 
you always want your blitzing linebacker on the opposite side of the running back. So Sam Mike one inside zone, you look at the alignment and then like you'll run it one time against this formation, okay, and see just where it lacks. So right here, I'll be using Stevens. I'm gonna watch, we should get a free inside release with Campbell again. You saw that, right? He's got a juke to the right, but that's the AI doing it immediately. I mean, if someone does that as far as a user and they get lucky, it's all good. You just, you'll, you'll compensate for that. But right here, okay, we get a free release again. Boom, with this play, okay, without making adjustments. Just simple, just like that. However, it becomes a little bit more difficult to use when you're going against a tight formation running inside zone. So let's just assume we pick the same play, flip it, but this time they're in the tight offset tight end running inside zone. And then we sit, do this. I want you to pay attention to what's happening, okay? Look at the alignment of the blockers. Now they have leverage to the guys that are coming in, which means they're gonna get picked up. Now everybody's picked up, right? So you have to put the leverage to your side again. So what can we do? Well, what we're going to do to glitch out this defense is we're gonna press left on the D-pad, left stick to the left for shift D-line left, right? This is what's weird about it, is that we're shifting left. However, my man's gonna come back into the right. And this is the leverage we need to make sure that he gets that release again. Now, he got the free release, but Aaron Jones is juking my people instantly from the line. However, you shift the D-line to the left against compressed inside zones like this, okay? Now you're gonna get a free release. Campbell comes off the edge. I'm at, I'm there, we're all there to stop the inside zone instantly. Now, I don't really need to be there because like I said, as long as I put the leverage back to myself, I don't really need to blitz. I just come like I am. And we got Campbell right there to make the stop on an inside zone. Now, here's what's even cooler about this play. When you're using the Sam Mike one, you can actually take your X route and put him on, a, on the coverage. And you could take B and put him on coverage. Still move the D line and still get the release. So now you can put curl flats, you can put cloud flats. Okay, you can even put hook curls, something like that, or, or however you wanna do it. It's up to you. And with this setup, we should still get a release with Campbell. And there's Campbell right there in the lane. Now, like I said, Jones is shifting immediately. That's AI, they're smart, they're, they're faster, they're quicker, they snap quite quicker. So again, we can still run the same setup. Now we're just rushing what? three and still getting the release to the running back. Boom, there he is. You see what I'm saying? So you know, you guys know I got the set. Like I said, the full scheme is gonna come down and blending all this in together with it, it's gonna make this one damn near unstoppable. This is why people are moving to the two, four, five odd because you can stop the run fairly easy. We will try the adjustments for another inside zone here in a little bit, but you're gonna see Campbell. Now, I don't think, I don't know if it's ability-based why he gets free, I doubt it, because no one's really just picking up the block for him. Now, this is just a quick plug for you guys in the middle of the video. I'm gonna do this from time to time where I just come in with an edit real quick and show you that what I'm showing you in this video is not ability-based, because I know there's gonna be people that say, oh, you have to have abilities. You don't, okay? So right here, inside zone, I'm gonna use someone that doesn't have an ability at all from the Jets. And you're gonna see that we still get that free release as long as we're using the side of the guy. Well, he fell. I mean, he, you know, he's a little bit bummy, but it still works. Probably have somebody there with speed, man. Maybe someone with speed can get to the running back like instantly, maybe a little bit faster on the line is gonna do you better. As you see right there, we did get that free release. Back to the video. So now let's try this play flip against another formation. Let's just say doubles Y flex inside zone. Okay, remember this is pretty much to stop the inside zones from a shotgun formation, it's which you're gonna face a lot of when trying to use this defense because people are gonna know, run the ball. So you use the proper defense. This one I don't think will need any setups because I see the leverage on our side. We got two pass rushers coming from the left side, which means as long as I'm in the way, we should get a free release from Campbell. So as we do this again, there goes Campbell, free release. You guys are seeing it. All you gotta do is lab against the formations you see the most and find the proper setup because Maybe against this formation, shifting the D-line left won't do it for you. But against like tight formations, it will. But this one, we still get a free release. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys and show you guys just how easy it is to stop the run from this formation. Like I said, the full scheme is coming. Stay tuned for that. Become a member today. Uh, by the way, the 335 wide meta, if you're new, is in there. The bunch offset meta is in there. Full scheme breakdowns, trade wide flex, single back wing stack, all those, man. So check them out. Love you guys, man. Peace.